Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Dr. M3. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I am in my Model Y performance. It's about uh, a month now that I've had this car and I'm learning a ton about it. And so what I decided to do is I'm going to do these quick tips for you. Things that I've learned and discovered with the Model Y over my experiences. So hopefully it makes it a lot easier for you. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn notification on so you can follow me along this journey. Now... For you, if you're going out and you're buying a Model Y, or any Tesla for that matter, it's important to know that, frankly, it doesn't come with a garage door opener. Yeah, I, I'm serious. Most modern cars are, it's already included, but not Tesla. In the early days, apparently, they were, but nowadays, it isn't. So when you buy your Model Y, if you're going to want to have a garage door opener installed, you're going to have to purchase it separately from Tesla. It's about 300 bucks. And quick tip, when they send that garage door opener to you, you cannot open the box. If you open the box, technically speaking, you avoided the warranty and the Tesla service center can refuse to install it. Really? Well, just to let you know that it's a real thing, it says it on the box, do not open. You need to schedule an appointment for Tesla service, they'll either come out to you or you take it into the service center and they'll install it for you and then you can do the programming later. I already did that step, I brought it in, they've installed it and I just now need to um, program my garage door opener. Now. I'll talk to you about some other options that you may use other than this, but again, I spent the 300 bucks uh, and got it installed because there are some features that I think I would like. So let's start off. What you're going to need is, you're going to need your actual garage door opener, which is what I have here. Mine happens to be a Chamberlain. Most modern garage door openers have rolling codes and we're gonna need to use this um, and uh, some programming on the console here to get this thing going. So I'm going to walk you through very quickly, step by step, how you do that. Now, if you have a generic uh, garage door opener, meaning that it's not the original, you may have some trouble with it, so you need to go and find the original. And make sure you have a fresh set of batteries in there so it works right, okay? So I'm going to show you the steps that you need to go through to get this thing going. So you're going to start by pressing the home link button. You're going to create a home link and you're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it garage. Okay. And you hit enter. And you have a couple of options here. I would just keep it in the standard mode which is what you're going to want to, but you have a couple of other options here where it's D mode, but I would just stay, stay with standard mode, and then you go set mode. And now it's going to give you some instructions on what you're going to need to do. So before you begin, you're going to need to have that garage door opener, as I said, and you're going to need to stand in the front of the car um, to program this. So we're going to start that in just a second. So we're going to go ahead and and hit start and now you have to go to the front of the car and uh, uh, press and hold uh, the button just to the left of the Tesla sign for about 30 seconds so here goes so now we're in front of the Tesla and we're gonna press and hold this button for about 30 seconds you can hear the garage opening behind me what you're going to see are the headlights should have flashed. And I didn't see it. So if it fails, you need to just do it again. So in our case, the headlights did flash and it says recording complete. So you just need to hit continue as the next step. And now what you need to do is go to your garage door opener and there is a learn button on it that you need to press. So here we go. So on your garage door opener, there will be a learn button. Here it is right here. You're going to press and hold it, and it's going to go for about two minutes or so. So you're going to run back to the car now and make sure that we have this working. We just hit continue, and it says training complete. Next is continue, 
and now it wants us to test um, the system. So go save. And um, let's see what let's see what happens. Now, the couple of things you have the options to do here is when you come to the garage, you can have it set to auto fold your mirrors. You can also have it set to open um, or close when you arrive and you can set the distance. I'm going to set it to about so 50 feet or so and uh, also select auto close on leaving. And once that's done, um, you have a couple of different options here, including chime for auto open or auto close. I think that's a good idea. So at least you have an audible cue as to what's happening. Now that that's done, you should see your home link in the top right hand corner here should be green, indicating that you have a home link set up. So let's go ahead and try this and see how it works. So now if I click on home link, and garage, a signal should go out, and it should close my garage door. And it failed. So it means that we've got to go through that process again because something didn't work. And sometimes this happens. Um, the other important thing, too, I actually happen to have LEDs in my garage. And so if you do have LEDs, you have to be careful because sometimes it can cause interference. So you should turn off those lights and then try it again. So I'm going to try that to see, to make sure that that's not the cause. So the next thing I'm going to test is I'm going to back away from the garage and I'm going to come down the driveway and see if in fact as I come around 50 feet away from the garage door it automatically opens it. That's another big test. And again I'm going to show you some other options if you don't want to buy the home link system that may actually work for you as well. So there you have it. It works. I've got it set up now. Finally, I've been meaning to do this for a while. It's kind of amazing that Tesla doesn't include this, but Anyway, so the big question is, should you spend $300 to do this? And I would say, for my case, it's worth it. I love the fact that it's now fully integrated. I don't have to think about it. Once I get within a certain distance of my home or from it, it automatically closes it. And I like that peace of mind. But there are cheaper ways of accomplishing the same thing, not the least of which is, frankly, just to use the garage door opener itself. You can clip it on your visor or whatever. I don't like it. It just doesn't, it's not as elegant. It's not as clean. So I wanted something that's more. Another option that may work for you if you have a smart garage door opener is if it's connected to the internet, you could use the home kit, a home kit or Alexa enabled program to basically use your phone, your cell phone as location based uh, rules if this then that and so frankly based on where your phone is you can either open or close your garage so that would work but if you don't have a new enough garage door opener that's like that then the cost of the garage door opener is probably going to be fairly close to the home link so which one do you want to do is completely up to you anyway guys that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you coming along with me for this journey in my first ever full EV, the Tesla Model Y Performance. I'm going to be doing a ton of videos. I'm going to do some road trips in this car because um, I got lots and lots of stuff to tell you, lots of observations. I appreciate you watching these videos. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Turn notifications on. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. And I, I always say... Keep motoring. Peace.